Well, what do you know? A box came today from nipponyasen.com. Hmm, how peculiar. Let's see what's inside, shall we? this Godzilla 1964 Ooh. okay let's just get through this bubble wrap quickly oh, I say quickly H Monster Arts Godzilla 1964 Bandai Collector's Shop and there's the Tamashi Web Exclusive logo right there so let's tuck into that tape and get this bad boy open oh great here we go come on Oh yes, glorious. Well, let's just get the camera back on that a bit. Oh yes. Quick look at the box. It's like I use information, Godzilla information. If I was Japanese, I'll probably be able to read it for you guys, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Just says Godzilla. And then we're back to the front of the box. So now, for the coup data. I hate it when boxes do this, when they crease up. Hmm? Oh, what's this? There's two other bits of tape. Damn you! Damn you all to hell! Come on, you know you want to. One. Jesus, Tomashi Nations are the sure love their tape, don't they? Okay, there we go. Right, now we can get into it. And here it is. The very first Sir SH Monster Arts. Christ, he is tiny. Right, for the last hurdle of tape. Dun dun dun. Oh, there's no tape there. No tape here either. And no tape here either. That's new. Usually I have tapes. Okay. Just gotta pop this from its plastic thing. One, two. Whoa! 
Oh, woo. Hmm. Hmm. Just try and see if that triangle joint moves. Yeah, it looked a bit wobbly that for a sec, that top bit, Jesus. Okay. Come on, you. Come on. Okay, you in there? Nope, not quite, hang on. Let's just move that ball joint a bit. See if it's in line. Okay. Just a little bit more. Sorry about this, guys. Okay, come on. Okay. Wow. This is a tough one. Nope. Still not having it. Hang on. It seems when you try to get close like that, it doesn't stay in, which is unfortunate. So it only allows you to go only so far. <clears throat> okay. I think that's gonna have to do for now. Oh wow. Might want a slightly derpy eyes. Well this one looks like it's been pushed right back in. Actually it looks like um it looks like a bit of green paint got into the eye there compared to this one. Hmm. Well, I have got a second one coming at some point from uh, Toy Freaks if they do send it out. So I'll just see how that one compares to this one. Because depending on which one looks better, I'll customize the lesser looking good one. But anyway, let's check, the, check, let's, bleh, check out the articulation on this thing. Come on. The thing with most Tomashi Nation figures is that when they come brand new, most of the joints are pretty stiff. So you just go wake them up. Especially when it comes to Godzilla's and their left legs. They are quite stiff at first, to my experience. Now let's try out this so-called foot articulation. Hmm. Hmm, there's a bit of movement in there. Hoping for a bit more, oh well. Right, triangle joints, whoa! Doing the flying split here. Now, let's see how close those legs can get together. Mm. Shame it doesn't go all the way back. Get back in there again. Let's rotate the arms a bit, see if we can get them 
Whoops. The arm came off. Hang on, there we go. Let's see how close we can get to a movie accurate stance. That seems to be as close as I can get it. No. And so just for quick size comparison, I've got my Godzilla custom here. Godzilla Q. Oh wow, even when hunched over, Q's taller than this guy. Jesus, they were not kidding when they were saying how tiny this figure was. Ugh. There we go. Not gonna lie. The sculpt on Motu Goji looks absolutely incredible. Sakai Yuji knew exactly what he was doing when he was sculpting this. I may do a bit more of an in-depth review later, so... That is all for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing, and hopefully... Well, for one, that the jaws on yours can open. There we go. And also you don't, well, get slightly better eyes than mine. Yeah, thanks for watching. And catch you later. Bye.